Okay, today we're going to introduce an idea. Um, against the defense. And some of the principles we're going to try to incorporate will be coming into the controlling the elbows, controlling the shoulder, controlling the wrist, and um, pinning those objects. <coughs> and we'll, we'll explain as we go. So grab a weapon. <coughs> Now, what I want to do on a weapon like this, all of those would be very, very similar. And we're trying to keep things similar on all of them as best we can. But this weapon, as he comes forward, I'm going to, I'm going to trap this hand. And then from here, I'm going straight to these points here. Okay? And that really isolates him from all his movements that he has. Okay? I happen to be lucky enough to be stepping on his foot. Controlling both weapons. Okay? So, this is what we want to look for. And then from here, of course, I could come slide off, I could slide off, I could slide off, okay? I could trap, I could hit. I, you could do a lot of different things. But the whole idea is initially with this weapon that we can control this. The idea is to control both these elbows initially, okay? If I choose, trap it to his body a little bit. It takes a lot of it out of it for him, okay? So, if we look at a different weapon, <coughs> Okay, the cane's similar. I might go to the hand here because I'm on my way to here. Okay, so my hands will be closed and they'll open up the last second, then I'll be here. Okay, I'm going to keep them tight here because they'll want to hook my leg and do all kinds of stuff here. But as long as I'm here, I'm fine. As long as I, I push, I'm pretty good too. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, the idea is the same, except you could end up on the inside or outside. So if I if I end up on the inside, I'll catch here. But his wrist can pivot, okay, and that's so I need to be swift transition from here to here, okay, and I take that away, okay. So I I've, I've trapped. Trap is one of the things. Trapped it to my body, I could trap it to his body. Okay? So, and then from here, kind of, kind of a stalemate. Okay? I could sneak this out and get a hit. But either way, oh, yeah, I'll speak that one again, but I want to go the outside. Okay? If, I, if he comes to with this one, I'm here. Okay? I've got to, I've got to watch that arm, so I've got to keep pressure here. So those arms don't come back through, okay? And I, I, I still got to watch for that, okay? But even if he did that, I, I, I can catch them, okay? But again, what do I have? Both elbows trapped, okay? So you got to watch. There's more than one range of motion. That elbow moves, the wrists move, and that shoulder has a hinge to it too. So if I get stuck on this weapon here, if I can get to the inside here. Okay, uh, not so much movement on this one here. I'm not so worried about it. Okay, a little bit there, hard to get there. Okay, but I'll come in. I'll either trap it to his body or I'll trap it to his body. I'm still in pretty good control here. Okay, and it's hard for him to flip that out. He might get it looped around a little bit, but still, I can just off balance. Okay. <clears throat> This weapon's virtually the same. I could get st stuck on the outside here, okay? And I slid down to the wrist, okay? Because he could pivot. Okay, he's got quite a bit of, he's got some motion in that that he can get me. So I did slide down to the wrist here, okay? Keep pressure here. Okay, you can always, you know, attempt to disarm. Okay? So, the idea is still the same. I'm controlling these elbows or shoulder. Knife's, knife's the same. So when I come in here, I'm going to come in that knife. I'm here, but I immediately need to control here. Okay? Um, 
you know, have very little movement back there. Okay. This weapon doesn't have as much long range. He, he could probably cut me a little bit here, but minuscule, okay, compared to some of those other weapons. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. Here's the problem. This weapon has strength going on this end, and exactly the opposite end. So initial movement is fine. Whatever it comes to. Okay. Okay. In this case, I slid to here. Yeah. Unanticipated, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. Well, with this weapon, I need to control the arm, which is fine. Okay. And it's got those hooks, so I've got to do this. Okay, I've got to be careful with this one here. Okay, if I get stuck in here, this part's fine for an instant, but he, he can go back. Yeah, see that? He's dug into the forearms here or there. So this is a new problem with this weapon because not only attacks forward, it attacks going back. So that's my concern. So in this case, I need to totally control the weapon. Okay, and control the wrist. I'll be better off. Even this one behind me, I'm still got to worry about a little bit. Okay, but in a two, okay, that's a unique weapon, and it has unique problems that go with it. Okay, if I get on the outside, go ahead. Yes, if I get on the outside here, I'm not so it's not so bad. Okay, as long as I apply pressure here, okay, I'll be fine. So just some some food for thought. Um, you've got to control this, and I've got to be able to control that wrist that can turn, change direction on me. I've got to worry about that. Initially, it's coming in this direction, and I'm going to stop here. But now, I've got that next issue there, okay? So I really want to get that trapped out, okay? Now, he'll, he could try to come with that. But it's just it's just hard to reach for. Okay, it's just hard to reach for. Now, <laughs> and then I, I put this in here. It's a unique weapon, and it's dangerous in both directions. So you can get be alert. <laughs> you can stab yourself with it too. So just a little little thought. Um, you can almost sneak in on any weapon by controlling their elbows. But then from the elbows, you need to control. Elbow and shoulder on certain weapons, trapped elbow and wrist on other weapons. It needs to be trapped to either to yourself or to their body. All those elements need to be present. Um, and you can basically utilize the same initial defense motion. Uh, one thing we didn't mention is, is the old crap. And, oh look, yeah, I can do it like this. So if you do old crap, you're just not sure, okay? Now, or where we were talking about. Okay? If you're first off, if you get stuck in the middle and he attacks, okay, there's this and that other one's coming through too. Okay? I kind of got in the shoulders, I can kind of be here too. Okay? Still the same idea. Okay? If I get to the outside, okay, if I get to the outside, then I'm here. Okay? If I get to the inside, oops, sorry, got <laughs> my way in. But this keeps that arm from coming forward and this traps this arm. And you still use similar movements to weapons, still similar movements. Okay? But he can't really attack me right now. <laughs> now, if that was a knife, remember the knife? I came out here to control it. Okay, so just remember, depending on the weapon, they've got that extra direction that you've got to worry about. <laughs>